Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft. So today we are checking out Swamp of Sorrows. So when you're in the Burning Steps, there's actually a quest to get to Swamp of Sorrows here. Um, so we had a quest, I think it was over there, that told us to go to Swamp of Sorrows. But you can talk to this person. Oh, makes sense. And she'll give you a bit of a ride on a, her rocket. Which is pretty cool. And uh, this, this path actually is really cool because it follows up uh all up through red ridge and around and right to swamp of sorrows it's just like this little uh cute you know pass here which i think is really really cool honestly hello red ridge and yeah uh, literally this path seems to just to connect these two areas you know just a, an easy way to get there which i think is pretty damn cool You know, they could have just made it so, oh, well, you know what? You have to have a flight point or get there another way or, you know, well, we're not going to even build a path here. You know, it just flies over the mountain. But they actually made a path that, you know, basically people can use with their mounts and stuff to get back and forth if they needed to or wanted to. So I think that's really cool. That's, you know, of course, Kata had uh, flying mounts and all that fun stuff. But that was not until, like, you know, once you got, you know, to a lot higher level and then you'd go hey, back and you'd, you, you know, you have you can still do one. the old world content without having a flying mount. But, uh, yeah, good old days, right? Let's do that. Okay. So we are... I think that's supposed to be like that, right? Yeah. I just noticed this nameplate was on, so I guess I had hit one of the V keys accidentally. It's like V or control Time V for one of them friend. anyway, so... Okay, so we have to go in here. Uh, grants underwater breathing. Increase. Oh, okay. That's cool. I like that. This should make this quest a lot easier. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's ridiculously beautiful. I love that. Anything that makes you move easier, water is always the best. It's drinking, it's taking their uh, booze there, huh? This is our second last zone, uh, ish. Uh, I say ish because there's probably other things we'll finish, fix, and go back to and stuff like that. But you know, it's like, you know, basically this would be the achievement. So. Which then we'll uh, look to finishing any dungeons we might have missed and uh, do some raids, things like that. Yeah. Okay, so we still need yeah these guys. These guys. You know, when you have the, the, the potion effects like this on the on the water wall, I mean, your move mount speeds are just awesome. But it feels like you're not even in water at this point, you know? I do always like those kind of buffs. I wish these existed all the time kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, they actually have per zone regulations for them. Floor, so we can move faster. 
And then soon we'll we'll be starting our Outland series, which is crazy. That part to me is just crazy in my head. <laughs> okay. Let's see where we're going here. Oh, over here. see where else I can go here this is pretty dead over here I oh, hear some guys come on little crawlers there we go I just need one more of the other kind there's one over here I think these guys were 100% drop, right? I think so. Yeah. Here you Yo. go. Keep it real. I will try my best to keep it real, man. A promotion cap, huh? Is that a head item, I guess? I think so. Oh. Not that Yo. beautiful looking at all. Keep it real. So you can grab more of that swimming tonic. That's cool. Time is money. Only works friend. in this zone, obviously, but I mean that's still cool. Especially it's a swampy area, right? You can use Have it to get around one. the swamps Yo. and stuff like that. Let me Be just good. get more here. Time is money, friend. There you go. Throw it down here. Okay, so oh look at this. We got more quests in the area opening up here. Well actually some of these might have been already there. There you go. Funny part is this event will end when we get to Outlands. This event won't exist. That's that's what happens for pre-recording ahead, right? I mean, I do two episodes a day. I can't be doing like ten a day. That'd be just ridiculous, uh -huh. right? So <laughs> obviously like it's uh, you know it buffers a wee bit, but uh, yes, when we get to the Outlands, that won't be the event anymore. Okay. That looks like a bomb. There we go. So I didn't disarm it? Oh, okay. there's like chance base? Was I too close? Just too perfect? Who puts bombs anyways in a swamp? I wonder if my personal reach is slightly higher because my combat reach is already higher. Probably not, but just a funny, fun thought, you know? You know what I mean? Because uh, that's like roughly my combat reach too, right? Like, look at this combat reach right there. You know, it goes from his center, right? So, I don't know. I see some just go and you don't get them. Okay. It's like a hit and miss chance. I respect that. For now. That's another thing I never got fully, you know, up there. And it's not a big deal. It's fishing. Uh, I mean, I'll come back and work on fishing. And it's nice that it's per expansion stuff too. So I can work on, you know, per expansion over time. But I would have liked to get my fishing at max by now to 300, but it takes a long time. Fishing is the slowest, basically, profession at the this state, uh, just the way things are, which that's fine. I, I don't mind that at all. I, in fact, I actually like that. Um, just more saying, like, you know what? It, it is pretty damn slow, so. So it's more like, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, i got to get fishing up to 300 before I'm allowed to, you know, proceed to the Outlands, for example, right? Like, I won't I won't force that on myself. Uh, I would have considered it highly before if, um, you know, I can't take the Outlands fishing, obviously. You know, I would have definitely said, okay, I got to get that max. I'll more likely get my mining max just because that is an easy goal. Um, all it requires of me to do is go to the highest zone, so like Blasted Land or Solithus, Solithus 
and just go ahead and mine for an hour or so, if, the, if that even time-wise. The only reason I haven't done that yet is because the Mithril Ore, is, or it's not Mithril, it's the other one, but uh, I can't think of the name of it. Is it Mithril? No. But anyways, uh, the ore is so not worth it value-wise that I just haven't bothered yet because I just don't find value in it, right? You know, so it's not, it's kind of pointless in my opinion right now. But later on, obviously, I'd be like, okay, this is worth doing, you know. Oh, and I got uh, one of my factions up. So you remember these guys? Which one was it? Do, 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 do. Uh, the Thorian Brotherhood. You remember we saw, like, you can do the one dust. Uh, the dust you can hand in, I think it was like 10 or 100 at a time. And it was that NPC there and was it Syrian George or Blast? Well, one of those ones anyways you remember um and I said oh you have to you can get that dust in one of the dungeons blah 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 well I went on the auction well I got some of the dust I don't know where I got it first from first of all maybe in the zone two you know rare drop whatever but I noticed I had the dust so it said on it you know auction house value one silver I went on the auction house and there was like uh, you know like a thousand or so on the auction house so I bought all of it I mean that was like 10 gold right and then uh, I hardly used any of it, so I threw it back on for like five gold. No one bought it, obviously, but uh, um, I thought that was actually kind of cool that uh, you know I was able to get that currency item and max it out pretty easily. So there you go. You don't have to worry about it. It's done. That's that's something I would like to work on on the long term, right? Like just because I moved the Outlands, you know, Wrath of Lich King, etc. Like the different, you know, worlds eventually. Um, doesn't mean I'm not going to continue working, not working on old content. So, like, I'll come back, you know, and do some of those faction things, you know, do some update videos and talk about what I've done and things like that. So, like, you don't have to be like, oh, well, that's, you know, it's over, right? Like, I'll never make a video again for that content because, no, I will definitely make content video for that. In fact, I look forward to doing just stuff like that. Some of you said they used Photoshop elements. This is an older lady. She's probably in her 70s or maybe even 80s. She knows how to use her computers quite well, which is pretty awesome. But uh, she used to use Photoshop elements, and I guess that's also to store and organize some of your photos, I guess. I, I'm not quite sure how that works. I've never used it myself in that capacity. I you know, apologize. I only use photo, uh, Google Photos and stuff like that. But uh, I've never really used a an app to deal with, you know, sorting, sorting and storing images. I mean, if it was on my computer, I would easily just, you know, I just, it'd be folders and, you know, thumbnail previews and all that, obviously, Windows 10, right? Or, well, it's still existed a long time ago, but I don't really have a suggestion for what she's looking for in particular, unfortunately, so I'm not really able to help her. But I basically said I use the cloud version, but she doesn't like the cloud version. She's like, you know, oh, they farm your data and stuff, and, I mean, of course they do, all of them do, but, uh, if my data is worth farming, well, whatever. Hey, you know. how you doing? It's it's gotten to the point where what can you do, right? Keep it real. Time is money, friend. Hurry back. I thought money was time. There you go. Let's go around the shore here, just in case there's a any kind of rares we can trigger here. I guess there's one that could be all the way. Oh, it's like quite far away. Oh, we found him. Oh, that's actually cool. I feel bad though. Okay. I think we moved to another little encampment, which is pretty cool. I didn't save my, uh, it's not a big customer. deal, but I should have put my in here. We're so close to storm when like it's not a big deal, right? So. What's his name? Crazy Larry? Is that what his name is? I helped the Larry today too. I don't know if he's 
crazy, but he's definitely a Larry. <laughs> So, Diddy Bags and killing these guys? I, what the hell is a Diddy Bag? I know these guys are... Oh, okay, they're on them. Let's see, I know these guys are highlighted, so... That's funny. Their their names are green in the water, but gray uh, out of the water. That's actually interesting. Hey, I need his corpse. Wow. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, like I disappeared. He didn't want to exist anymore. Bothers me. I want to kill him. Give me that off. Oh. Okay. What well, one I can click, anyways? What do we have left? I'll oh, just one more of these. One of each, I guess. Awesome. There you go. Pretty simple there. What's up? <laughs> Glad I could help. Okay. We're going out in the water, I think, here. All in that boat. I wonder if we get a flight or something there, or there's a way up here. It might be a way up here. I just obviously just flew here, but the quest probably helps you get there, to be fair. Oh, this cannon you use, I guess. It's like a cannon to shoot you back and forth. I guess I'll have to remember to use it there. Now the question is, are these on the guys? Or, oh, here's some. Okay. What's my weapon? I'll have to repair it. The weapons break so fast. Damn fast, I find. Uh, they just have such... I don't know. The durability is 85, but I don't know. They just feel a lot worse than they used to. I feel like the durability got scaled down as well, but like... Oh, that's cool. So that you can see they use magic to remove the water, but the water shows up there. With uh, the weird angle. That's actually kind of cool. But anyways, um, yeah. Go. And I'm guessing the other one is going to be up top on the main di Oh. Oh, I might have had... Uh... Must have had a daughter or whatever on me. I'm guessing it's like up here. Nope. Oh, here it is. Right here. I guess we'll use this because we never did use it one way anyways. Will I get his loot or will it? Oh, yeah, it let me. Meow. Oh, it, had, it must have had something to prevent it from, I don't know. I got the best deals anywhere! There you go. Keep it real. Talk to me. Hurry back. I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay. 
We have a quest here, but there's something back there too. Huh, weird. We'll just follow this along anyways. That must be a pet battler thingy, my bopper. Yeah. Who doesn't ever give me persevere. fun stuff? Sure, we just on. kick your pet's ass. We do them from time to time. I think I might have actually healed all my pets. Nope, they're not. State your business. We will have justice. I just I don't understand the purpose of this. It actually feels like Salama, dirty and stuff. Maybe Ashari there's achievements Nore. related to it or something. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem right for not being able to get like pet experience from it from what we found and I wonder if you can get like purple or the orange pets. Probably not. I'm guessing they only ever let the NPCs get those. Dash Malinore. Okay. And there's the uh, the swamp uh, dungeon. What the hell is it called? It came... There's the swamp one. It's actually called Oh Temple of the Atakara or something or other. But uh, we did that a while ago, if I recalled. Oh, I I didn't get myself in there. I'm on bird fire. Time is money, friend. Hurry back. Glad I could help. Anytime. Okay. Merc Dweller Slains down here, I guess. This might take a tiny wee bit of time. It's all good. There we go. I should look, see if there's any quest items for this one. Probably not, but... Okay. of sorrows nothing it's very uncommon these days well, this is a very boring spot i guess they're all in the water area down here ah here we go now we're talking Wait, did i see oh that's that marker i saw a object on the ground for quest well those don't count for this to be honest it was just, you know, started from an item. Um, I, I wonder if you can do start from an object. Oh, yeah, you can. Apply filter. There's a hero's call and war chief's command. That's just, like, the boards and stuff like that, I guess. So, yeah. Nothing like in a bottle or anything like that on the ground, apparently. Look at that, I actually got all the rune cloth. This won't spam me anymore. Maybe I should just hold on to that. Because <laughs> that rune cloth, you get tons of it in uh, Outlands too. At least the, the beginning, I think. In the, I think you get rune cloth and that other nether weave or whatever in um, the first part. Okay, let's go hand that stuff in. Just see if they have a repair vendor here, just so I don't have to look at my friggin' sword. 
My shameful little Got sword. the best deals anywhere! Alchemic supplies. No, not here, apparently. Hold on. Time is money, friend! <laughs> I think Glad I could help! I have no. a deal for you. Well, spit it out! Okay. Have a good one. You have a greater one. Okay, we're going into this cave right here. Oh, look at that. So, thorium in here. Oh, yeah. So the thorium here is that. Rich thorium is also green. What the hell? So it's, is this just like punish mode? There's something I think that's slightly higher than thorium then. Maybe it's a rare one, like true silver one, maybe? I don't know. I just I feel like there was one that was l yellow, but maybe not. Maybe it is just thorium. Which means that actually is a bit more painful to farm thorium that much. So yeah, mithril cells, iron cells, definitely. It's the thorium that doesn't sell, and, uh, well, it sells, it's just more expensive. Do I have you? Yeah. Oh, there's the thing I can kill. It looks ugly and creepy. Do I really want to go back there and kill it? Oh! This is like the, uh, the same design as that one place. The, um... Elder Sphere or whatever, it's like one of those designs where we, we came up and there was the spider, I think with spider eggs and the spiders everywhere and stuff like that. It's a cave that's not used that often. Obviously, much better doing this in the. Uh... Yeah. I'm not getting good stuff. I should uh, check to see if there's a rare here, because it says potentially a rare is in here. Nope. Not right now, anyways. I think these guys are just placed to stand still. They don't even really move, I don't think. It's a little very uh, standstill uh, cave. It doesn't even make much sense just because of how it's done. <laughs> You gotta admit, it's a bit weird. They're all just standing there, not moving at all. It's just like... They're very special, special. Okay, let's get our boat out of here, shall we? Huh, interesting. Pleasure doing business with ya. Okay. See, it'd be kind of fun running. I mean, like, Blizzard bite you in the face any for ways for doing this. But it'd be fun working with, like, a database team on a private server for one reason only. Making, like, I was just thinking, like, making, like, your own invasion events and stuff like that where, like, you know, different forces could invade another area. And, like, the players might have to help or take to kill a certain amount over time to kind of, like, retake over that zone, provide, like, AQ supplies, things like that. Like, script and add, like, some fun just little events into the world like to change things and balance and like actually you know do some cool things there and because of add-on support you could probably have things that communicate i don't know how well actually i think add-ons can communicate on like back channels and stuff so i have it where like you know you can actually add things to the client like information and data because you know you can do the client add-ons and stuff like that so it can like update like war patterns and maps and things like that. i don't know it's just it sounds so fun in my head i'm just weird that way i got what you need be good i used to run a bunch of different private servers when i was younger yes naughty me but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of learning experience i really enjoyed it Can I assist you? Good luck, friend. Fine, I'll collect your damn artifacts. Whee. Let's uh let's go use our potion down here. These lures are much more fun. There we go. Well, it looks like we're gonna be down here pretty damn quick actually, but that's alright.
Looks like all the artifacts were in one spot. Oh, we're, we're missing one now. It's like that artifact did not want to be with these guys. Oh, here's one. I am honored. Till next week. Oh, Hall of Masks. I know where that is. I was about to go in the water. I think this is actually legitimately under here. You gotta be careful because this stuff can actually get your butt kicked. It's like, oh, but I want more water. It makes me move faster. Yeah, I think it kind of takes you on a little bit of an adventure here. Forget which way this one is. Probably down here and then left, hopefully. Aha. guy which is he is upper or lower it's hard to tell because the points aren't always accurate right they bounce around sometimes so he could be upper he could be lower well it looks like he might be lower and left okay cool looks like this one's pretty spot on here from this way I don't think so that has a pot it's like is that some sort of like portal or tunnel or sewer pipe or something going to it's like dude it's just a damn pot falling over <laughs> it's obviously not this so there I guess there's a whole other set up top or am I missing another Lower down. I might be missing other things lower down, unfortunately. Yeah, this looks like it's taking me out of here. Okay, so we need to go back down here, and we need to figure out how to get over there. So it doesn't look like you get there on this side. Confirmed? Yet. Yeah. So let's go back down here. Is there a turn? Oh, yeah, there is a turn right. Nope, there isn't. We were in here. Pretty sure this was a full dead end. Oh, that's cool. There's an upper part to it. Actually, uh, the other one has an upper part, too. I don't think there's a way into it now, but it used to be a, a dungeon. Like, inside the dungeon, there's this whole top area wing, basically, you'd work on and do. But uh, none of that exists anymore. Oh, it might go further this way, actually. Yes, there we go. Now we're talking. Wow, this is cool. Oh, Hall of Ritual. I thought it said at first, Hail of Ritual. I'm like, Hail to the Ritual! <laughs> I've lost it, I know. Those, I bet, would corrupted. Yeah, if you touch those, they're going to spawn stuff. I was going to say, you touch that, you're going to be uh, trying a bit. Oh, nice! They teleport you out. How may I help? And then uh, I guess none of these are worth anything, and of course they give very little gold, anyways. Be careful. There you go. 
Does this go into a the little hub over here? Yeah, it does. Cool. And there we go. We've done maybe half the zone now. I mean, we've done the two out of the four things, so probably half. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll definitely finish this zone off. Let's just hand this one in, and then next episode, we'll go hey ahead there. and uh, grab the quest one. themselves. Well, let's see if we have somebody in here for repairs. Oddly enough, no innkeeper unless the ship provides in services. Nope. I wouldn't think so, but you never know. He's like a blacksmith, right? Yeah. At least they have this guy well here. Ta-da. See okay. you soon. Okay, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.